What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 18 of our Liverpool career mode and today we've got a couple of games in the league. Watford, um, Bournemouth and West Ham. So a couple of semi-difficult games. There's some tough ones in here. Um, Bournemouth, West Ham especially. Watford are the other career mode I am doing. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out as well. But then um, we'll play Bournemouth and West Ham after that. So three games in the league. As you can see, we're four points out of Tottenham who have kept pace this entire time. And um, doing rather well for themselves. Four points. We're 10 between Arsenal and 12 between Everton. And we also have a game in hand on Everton. So a huge chunk. And with the new update, with the big teams winning more, we're going to have to keep on playing to stay ahead of Tottenham. And we're going to jump right on into this. Hopefully, we can keep on going. Matzip asked to play. And he will play. Now, we've been playing pretty well in the league lately. Um, it's the cup competitions where things are starting to or have been falling apart We've been knocked out of the two league competitions and we're one behind Or we lost 2-1 on the away leg to Barcelona in leg number one So if hopefully we can keep the form up in the league and then we can hopefully turn that around against Barcelona If we get knocked out by Barcelona, it'll just be the league left this season. So hopefully We can keep on going guys, but let's jump on into this first game Watford Liverpool. Let's go Minia for ball in, but Matip does really, really well, and Matip is zipping forward here. Gets it out wide, and Mane's on it. Mane's pace can take him in behind the defense. He is in beyond the defense, and Mane does well to escape, and it's touched onto the bar. Jesus, I thought that had beaten him. Gomez gets a huge touch onto it. It hits the floor and just bounces and just nestles on top of the crossbar before going out. A massive opportunity and a huge save. It's so, so close. Robertson can't quite get anything on it, and the ball heads up in the air. Cleared. Skata does well to turn, and can we get that ball out to Mane? He, he does. That's brilliant from Keita. I'm not sure how he managed to hold on to it, but Mane's on it, and what a finish from Sadio Mane. Just curls it around the keeper with some pace on it, and it's a good finish, and we've taken the lead here. 1-0. A quiet stadium, really, all game. But this is a good touch inside there. Thought for a moment he might be caught, but not so much. And he's put some curl on that and really put the pace on it as well. No chance whatsoever for Gomez. Curled right into that corner. And a lovely play as well from Nabi Keita, who managed to hold on to that somehow and then play an inch-perfect ball. It's 1-0. They're playing well here. Up the wing. And Robertson's on it. Mane's making the run we want him to make. And Mane's pace does so, so well. He gets it back post. Brilliant football. Mane at the center of it once again. Kai Havertz, the finisher this time. And it's 2-0. Lovely stuff. And it's good football here. Mane, once again, his pace causing all sorts of problems on this left-hand side. He just slides it to the back post where Havertz had beaten the left back. Holovas getting a little bit up there in age. Not as quick. And Havertz takes advantage. And it's a tap-in in the end for him. 2-0. Looking for a cross here. They get it in, and it's taken down by Hernandez. Oh, what a save by Allison there. I'm not sure how that got through to Hernandez. We had De La Feu and Robertson go up for it. It's missed him, and it's fallen to Hernandez. And now we've got something at the other end as well. Mane's still on it, and Mane's going to be taken off of it in the end. But it is going to get to halftime by the looks of it. One more on. Nicely done. Keita. Getting a little bit tired, but running with it. And he gives it forward. It's Divock Origi's pace. It gets him in behind. Origi! It's 3-0. And that might kill the game off right there. It's once again Keita doing so, so well in midfield. We're probably going to have to take him off as well. But the leads should be insurmountable at this point. It's 3-0. It's a nice ball through the center. Using as much of his energy as he can. Or as he has left. And Origi making no mistake. It's a lovely finish from him. Gomez can't get out there to keep it out. A lovely goal. And it's 3 0. Wynaldum. Wynaldum coming forward here. Wynaldum just waiting for someone to step up. No one does. And eventually he just bursts through. And that is a great solo goal there from Genie Wynaldum. And it's 4 0. 4 0. 
cruising again today, and this is <laughs> what I worry about because we're playing so well in the league as of late. We just got to wake up for the cup competitions. It's Wijnaldum here, and he just skips through that gap there after nobody stepped up. Nobody stepped up, and eventually someone did. He just went around him and made no mistake with the finish. Fired it right past Gomez, and we're cruising. That's hooked in. It's going to get chested down. And wow, what a save. <laughs> I didn't think that had any chance whatsoever. But it's a really good save by Allison. The chest down was really, really well done. He would like a fifth before the game ends here. Shakiri he hooks it. Lovely chip ball. It's going to come to Wijnaldum who has a pop. And it's going to be saved or cleared. Either way, it's not going to be our fifth. But we are going to come away with a very dominant victory in the end. And three points added to our point total in the league. Bring us to 63. With a, a, how many games left? 11, I believe. And uh, in a really good spot. We'll see what happened to Tottenham. And they drew with Wolves. So we've actually gained points there. And that should bring our lead at the top of the table to 6. Which is a very, very good spot to be in with 11 games to go. Any lead is a good spot to be in with 11 games to go. Um, coming forward. How was the match for you? Proud of the lads. Nicely done. They play very well. Keep trying. Don't want them to go down or nothing. Too many good players at Watford for them to go down. Havertz needs to play more often. Lad is always complaining. I'm just going to stop answering him, really. Um, Kate's are looking good defensively now. And everybody else coming along nicely. Gomez doing really, really well for himself. Also, I'm just going to ignore that one. Stay grounded. No, you know what? I'm not going to worry. Your demands are out of place. And they and they freaking are because he plays all the bloody time. He misses one game and then he freaks out. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but we've got Bournemouth to come. And this is what's going to happen here. I am going to play a rotated side, much to Cav Havertz's dislike, and then I'd like the full team for West Ham, rotated for Everton, and then full for Barcelona. So we're going to play a semi-change team here. Not everybody's going to sit. Havertz can play. Um, Salah can play. He's missed last time. Um, Trent, I would like to give him a bit of a rest, and we'll play LaRucci. Um, Bardi can come in. Bardi has been playing well. Every time we bring him on lately, he's been playing well. Fabinho can play here. Um, Keita can come in. Milner can go onto the bench. Vargas can come in and play out here on the left. And that should be good enough. Who's having a bad time? Anybody? No, no one really. It's happy, Vandenberg. Glatzel will bring onto the bench. Because he's the only one I remember who had a frowny face who hasn't played in a while. Everyone else seems to be content with where they are. So let's jump into this. We got Liverpool Bournemouth. Always tough Bournemouth. They play a good style of football. Let's see if we can get the three points. It's Havertz. Finds Firmino. And Havertz making a good run. He drags it forward. Cuts back inside. Plenty of space for him to have a pop. And almost grabs himself a goal. But it's a good save. And we have the rebound there that did not... Get the greatest effort on target as Vargas turns, has a pop, and oh, it's another good save early here from the Bournemouth goalkeeper doing really well. I believe that's Begovic, looks like him. The ball comes in, over, heads it right down to the Bournemouth man, and they've got a man in here, and it's a great strike. What was that header down? Poor from Hover, really. Dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful. Some of our headed clearances are always just... Awful. Look at this. Headed right down into the box. And he's giving it to him, and he's got a free strike at goal. Makes no mistake. Power on it. 1 0 to Bournemouth. Not a good start. Bar or Havertz cuts back. Finds Firmino. Havertz making a good run. And Havertz takes it nicely in stride. Just looking for a man in the middle. Finds him. It's Fabinho! And it's a great finish through all the bodies. And we've pulled one back here. It's 1 1. And Fabinho, I don't I don't know if he can do that in real life. He's just way too long. But it's 1-1. One, one. 
And it's good football here. Havertz cutting back and finding the open man. And it isn't blocked. That gets blocked all the time, like an absurd amount of times. But he finishes through all the bodies. <laughs> Look at everybody there. Begovic can't get over. The man on the line can't get over. The man next to him here at the closest attempt. And, oh, they went right through both their legs. Ooh, tough on Bournemouth. But we're level here on 40 minutes. Firmino doing really well and then finding Barty on the overlap and Barty's pushing through can he get it through that's so annoying because Firmino had that run there and then he just pulled up on it but we still have it pushed out is Vargas he's gonna hit it oh my god I thought that had found the back of the net it went through the guys it's just wide and that really should have that move should have come with a better chance Nicely done. Fabinho keeping his run up. Can't quite find him with Firmino, but he comes back to him as a pop. And that's a really good save. That looked like it was finding the bottom corner there, but a really good stretch from Begovic. Nicely done here. Not a ton of space, but Keita has some here. Keita's zipping into his. Keita is so good. It's lovely stuff. Good football, Keita. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant football is Chamberlain. Finishes off the great move there. A lot of silk, silk passing. Silky, silky passing. In the box here. It's a nice ball. First time. It's a great couple of touches just to steady himself. Keita, and then he finds Chamberlain on the run into space. And Chamberlain makes no mistake first time. Just powers it past um, Begovic there. And that is a really, really good move. And Chamberlain and Keita playing really well in midfield together. Um, Havertz brings a little bit more steel, a little bit more guile in the passing department, but there's just raw pace when it comes to Chamberlain, and he gets some of those overlaps a little bit quicker than Havertz does. Lovely ball forward. Groenveld's going to get onto it. Groenveld just looking for the ball in, eventually finds it, and it's a decent header. Wow, that's hit the bar. I thought that was going really wide. It was just the the height and the angle on it that made me think that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Jesus, that's hit the post. Unbelievable. And we also have a break at the other end. It's Salah here. And Salah, can he find him? Keita to finish this. Oh, and it's just wide. Just wide. Really big chances at both ends. 30 seconds here. As Bournemouth are going to look to find themselves an equalizer. They haven't played badly today. But that is just not going to do it, is it? It's a poor, poor set of play in midfield there. Chamberlain coming forward. Finds Firmino. Is Salah on it. Salah does well to hold it. Just to chip it in there. Not going to work. But that is going to be the end of the game. A 2-1 victory here. Hard fought over Bournemouth. Bournemouth always difficult to play. And we just escape here after our early mistake. But we'll definitely take it. We're going to move further ahead in the league. We'll see what happens. Everton beat Chelsea. Everton doing well so far in that fourth position. But we'll see what happens to Tottenham. We're six points ahead before that. Should be nine before Tottenham play. But we'll see. we got another tough one coming with West Ham. Um, we have what it takes to keep the streak rolling. Rolling nicely. I do like these, um, by the way. Um... Time to focus on our next match. I do like these after they are pretty realistic. Good, decent questions. Um, Tottenham do win their game. Um, but I think that adds a little bit of depth to this. Uh, the players like it. Um, sometimes you can go at the players as well. They may not like it the morale wise, but you know, they you never know as they turn around. I just I, altogether I quite like that. I haven't gotten bored of it. Yeah, I get bored of the transfer ones because they're a bit quick, but those those I quite like. So we're going to make a couple changes here. Um, I'm going to start Brewster up front today. Why not? Um, the rest of the team can play, I think. Everyone else will uh, have to suck it up and play. And then we'll have Everton in three days, which will be rotation, and then Barcelona, which will be full team. Um, Firmino may play next time may not we may just play a Rigi we'll have to see um, but for now we're doing doing pretty well when it comes to this sort of um, rotation so we'll keep it going as we have it's been good on the year 
Um, it's not like the games we've lost. We've just put really poor lineups out there against really big teams. We've just done a really good job rotating. So hopefully we can keep it up. But let's jump into this. West Ham, always tough. Um, got some, always have good players capable of some magic as well. So we'll have to be playing as well as we can. But let's jump on into this. We get it to Brewster, he can. Brewster, look at that touch from Brewster there, just to touch it around the defender. And Brewster turns back inside, and Brewster, oh, it's a really good save. Almost starting the game off with a really, really good goal. It's Keita now, does well. Gets it back, it's Keita, and Keita, can he get around him? He can, it's brilliant, and we've started so, so well. We're just talking about how good West Ham were, and at the moment, they've just kind of just been sitting around while we play, uh, play around their defenders there. It's nicely done. It's a good ball in here. Gets back. It's Keita who just rounds him with his little bit of pace. And it's a lovely, lovely finish past the goalkeeper. And an early 1-0 lead. Nicely done by Fabinho. He's going to burst into space here. Why not? Gets it forward. Can we get this ball outside? He can. Sadio Mane on it. And Sadio Mane. Can he get it back? He can. Brilliant. It's 2-0. And West Ham. I have no idea what's going on back there. But they are awful at the back to start this game Brewster with the goal Mane making it it's a good ball out to him Mane uses his pace and the space to pull it back to Brewster it's nicely done and that's just that touch in there and Brewster makes no mistake six yards away from goal and it's 2-0 Havertz back inside Fabinho it's just gonna hold on to it and zip into that space Fabinho has a pop it's a good good save a tight angle, but Fabinho did well to just burst into that space. Salah, can he get it out there? He can. It's decent football here. And Brewster turns nicely. Brewster in a bit of space. Has a pop. And, oh, that is not far away. And it looks like we're going to head into halftime 2-0 ahead. This has just been a siege all game long. West Ham have been so, so bad at the back. And so bad going forward. It's just all around. Just been awful. Nice header back. Havertz can get it in there. Origi gets it back. Havertz has a pop. And, oh, I thought that had found the back of the net for a moment. A tight angle, a really good hit. And it took a long time in this second half for anybody to get going. I believe that's the first attempt all second half. And here we are, 10 minutes from the end. A very slow second half. Melendo's going to get onto it. He's onside. Hooked into space. Oh, wow, what a save and what an attempt. A brilliant overhead kick, and that is a great save. Hilaire taking it, their new signing. Look at that, a really good hit, and wow, oh my god, an equally great save by Allison there. A great shot, a great save. Unbelievable stuff there. As it comes to the edge of the box, and he's had another really good strike there, and a decent save as... That was almost really bad from Allison there, but it looks like we are going to come away with the three points. And the league form continues, and we've really had good runs of form in the league. As Mane gets over here, looks for something, can't quite find it as it goes off for a corner. So the league form's been really good. It's the cup form where we haven't won in like five. I believe it's five. It was four before the Barcelona game, and then five after the Barcelona game. So we haven't won in five, and to get through... We're going to have to win that fifth one. And we cannot win 3-2 or anything like that. It's a 2-1 defeat. In the first, like, it could have been 2-2. Should have been 2-2, you feel. But, you know, we get through as Tottenham go on the road and beat Chelsea. And they keep up with us. Tottenham keep on winning. And we're going to have to keep on winning, really, as well. To obviously win the league, which it's actually tight. It's actually going to be tight. We have what it takes to keep the streak rolling. We've been playing well in the league. Um, did they make it too easy? They didn't play as well as this, we did. In the first half, they were awful. Um, they tightened up a bit in the second half, but really didn't do too much, except for that one overhead kick in the resulting corner. But other than that, they didn't really have anything of note. Um, and we've got Everton, who sit there in fourth, who have given us humongous problems. And that'll start next episode, and we're going to have to rotate as well. So that Everton game is going to be very, very, very difficult. But as you can see, it's just us and Tottenham chasing that top spot. Nine games to go. And uh, there we are sitting 
six points ahead. We're 13 points ahead with nine games to go on Arsenal. Not worried about them catching us. Firmino's only one ahead of Harry Kane now in the league in terms of goal scoring, and he may not even play this Everton game next time around, so we have to watch that as well. But Everton, Barcelona, Crystal Palace will be next episode, and then we've only got league and Champions League from then on out, so we'll see what happens. If we get knocked out of that, we'll only have the league left to go, and there'll only be a couple more episodes. But if we're in the Champions League and we keep on winning there, there may be six or seven episodes in the season still to come, guys. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more, and peace.